Let's get down and dirty! That'll do. Morning. We are eight. Absolutely amazing to be out in woods again. And forest. I've been out all week with work, but it's uh, not the same as being out on your own. Love it. Well, I'm not on my own, I'm with Billy. And I think my mate uh, Ant survived the night. He's going to join me for a bit of bushcraft later. So we're out fit day. I'm going to be practicing quite a few skills, I reckon, today. I fancy it. You know, we get them days, you just want to get down and dirty, grafting in forest. Yeah, that's what it's all about. So, episode three of me uh, ladder series. As you can see, I've got my rope ladder on the back. So I'm going to strip that down. And I'm going to make another ladder. Now the benefit of these type of ladders, this rope ladder and the one I'm using, is we're not cutting any rope. We're using a length of rope, but I'm not cutting it. So I can strip it down and carry on using that rope for whatever. It's multi-uses. I mean, you can make cordage, obviously, from natural environment. If you want little strips of cordage and what have you. But uh, these are just great ways of making quick ladders that you can strip down and reuse for something else. Yeah. So I'm going to use all these uh, rungs that I've already got. And uh, I'll show you another way to make another quick ladder. And uh, I don't think this is going to be the end of it. I think we're going to have another one. Why not, eh? There's plenty of good ladders to go at. So let's get in forest and uh, let's get bushcrafting. I'm also, I've got my walking stick today, my thumb stick today. This is going to serve as my tripod as well, I reckon. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's get out there and do it. Come on. Spot on. So this is one of my regular brew spots where I uh, come out and we have a brew sometimes, cook a bit of supper, a bit of breakfast, whatever. And uh, no one's been here since last week. It's about six or seven days since I was last year. And uh, yeah, it's as it is. And my little fire pit's still set up there, hot rocks. So we're going to use this spot. Might as well, eh? Good night. Good night.
So at the top here, you can do what you want. I'm just going to uh, clove it, I think. Hiya, Billy. You're all right, big lad. Yep, yeah, it's going to be a clovitch for me here. Anything you want. But a clovitch will do the job. I've recessed each, uh, oh, each side so they'll stay together. So they'll, so they'll link together. And then I'm just going to tie this, this one off at the end, the other side here. Man, I'll survive the night see if to join us. How are you doing? All right, pal. All right. Here we are. What's up, lad? He's been at it, looks <laughs> like it. He got up a lot earlier than me. <laughs> hey, I bet you were up at crack of dawn, man. <laughs> so yeah, work your way down. So all we're doing, we get here, then I'm going round, bring my rope back through. Dig around, and then we're going to go back over this one here. Dig around, and then we're going to go back over this one here. Simple as that. So we're making a long row of knots here. Yeah. I'm just going to tie this one off under here. So we'll tie it off there. Then I'm going to bring that one across and we're going to start on this one. There. And then, just want to try and get your bits level as you're working up. So as you're coming up, try and get them level with your knot on the other side. The same script again. Round and through. This time I'm working the other way up. So my knot's upside down from the, uh, the way down. Well, not upside down, but the opposite way. On the next one once you get moving you can get pretty pretty slick at this Yeah, so as simple as that, and then that secures itself. So I'm trying to get them level with the ones on the opposite side-ish. That's it, simple as that. 
Then we're going to come back up and I'm just going to tie this back off at the top anywhere you want. As long as it's uh, taut. We're all right, I'll just check up the, uh, the slack. And sometimes it's nice to leave the length of rope as well if you want to say you wanted to secure your ladder to the tree. I'll do the job. Just tidy it up a bit, make it look nice, get rid of excess, there we are, bang on, sorted. Put your ladder up and then we need to slide the rungs in. So there we are, put them in, bang them down, lock them down, locked in place, put as many rungs as you want, put them closer together if you want, put them wider apart, whatever you want, well they're pretty solid then, they're locked in place now just by pushing down on this knot here. And if you wanted extra security, you just tie it around that tree at the top. But with it being spread out at the top there, they're actually gripping against the trunk anyway. If you fasten them together on a point, it's not as stable. But if you spread them out like that, cross them over, yep, you're actually gripping around the trunk anyway. So I'd say it's a pretty uh, bomb-proof ladder, this one. Hey, Billy. So what do you reckon to that Billy lad? What does Billy reckon? Hey? What does Billy reckon? Hey? What does Billy reckon? Hey, is it good? Yeah. So yeah, so that's our uh, third instalment of a bushcraft ladder. And uh, yeah, pretty brilliant really. So for little jobs and you know if you're after getting some fungi that's up here, there's some horse hoof fungus and you want to make some tinder or whatever, some birch polypore you want to, you want to sharpen your knife, etc, etc. There's a million reasons why you might want a ladder. But, quite often in a camp, if you're up there and there's a few of you out, yep, and you want a nice, high, 
type hanging so you can all stand under it, yep. Yeah. You know, or you're putting up your parachute or whatever you're doing. You might need to get quite high in the trees and uh, this is a great safe way of doing it. Probably met that, I reckon, in about, I reckon, 20 minutes. But for a rough and ready laddie, quality. Right, anyway, we're going to spend the rest of the day in the woods and do a few bits and pieces. We'll put a bit of footage on and uh, it's going to be a good day. Ants has come down for a brew and what have you and uh, spent the day with me doing a bit of bushcraft and what have you. So it's looking good, in it? Anyway, look after yourself. Well, stick with us anyway. We'll watch a bit of bushcraft as we go along. Won't be too long. Catch you in a bit. Something a bit different. Got us some nice gammon steaks today. Bloody hell, man. What are you like, you? I've just got some bodies, mate, because I was, was going to go to bloody lakes. Oh, yeah. So I just had some bodies. Oh, there's plenty there, mate. No problem. Right. You don't mess about you, do you? I like my food, you know that. Yeah. <laughs> Not going to be too bad now, we've got a few, aren't we? Sure's done it sometimes. It'll take a little while to get going. Even with some half decent feathers. Yeah, we're on it. Come on ladies. One of them in it. Some days it's like that in it. We got it in end. Plenty on it to get it burning, don't you? Got a crack in that, Well, top day is bushcrafty, and uh, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, 
and you're not a subscriber please subscribe there should be a thing around here somewhere or other but uh, it all helps and uh, I think 65% of my viewers that were looking the other week are not subscribers so if you fancy it just click on that and uh, give us a sub and uh, it's great to see you join the crew if you will <laughs> come along and uh, have a few more trips with us I've got loads and loads of videos my backlog of videos of all sorts of different skills and what have you so have a look through them if you fancy it but I reckon today's that ladder today I think they're, they're bomb proof that's got to be one of the best ladders you can make for effectiveness and for time as well how quick it is to make so if you've never if you've never done it have a go at it and uh, you'll see how good they are but like I say great for putting up a big tarp when you need to get high up you want to stand up under it and everything else but uh, a multitude of uses it's been a good day in the forest we're good to see Ant come down and uh, have a brew and some uh, bacon butties and sausage butties and gammon butties and uh, Billy's enjoyed his cell he's had plenty of scran so uh, it's going to be getting dark soon so uh, we're only out for the day so me and Billy in a minute we're going to wrap up camp in a minute set the tarp down put the fire out and I'll get him out for a decent mooch route forest we'll cover a few miles and uh, let him have a good run but thanks for joining us as always and uh, it's been good to see you I hope you've enjoyed it and look after yourselves and we'll see you all again real soon and like I like to say let's get down and dirty in the forest that's what it's all about catching a bit, ta -da.